Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I picked up from the drugstore that I've been wanting to try. One of them I have on right now, so let's go ahead and just talk about it. It is the new Baby Lips Color Balm Crayon. They look like this. I've only picked up one because I wanted to make sure I liked it before I picked up a couple other ones. And I typically don't wear A, like a glossy formula on my lips, and B, nudes. My nude to me is like my lip color, and clearly this is a lot lighter than my lip color, but I am really enjoying this right now. So let me just show you like what the tip looks like. It looks like this. It's super glossy and super nice. So this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. It's a nice, just glossy nude, and what I really like about this is it is super hydrating. It feels so good on my lips. Let me push this light back, because it's like all up in my face. Hope that's a little bit better. I don't know if I'm a little too dark, but we'll just go with it. I'm really, really enjoying this. It's super hydrating. It lasts a long time. The only thing I don't like is my lips are a little bit dry right now because it's winter time and I really have to kind of scrub my lips to make like, like you can even see on it right now, like it's not perfectly like smooth on my lips because they're a little texture, but it doesn't bother me. It just feels so nice. So I'm definitely gonna go back and pick up a couple other, other, um, colors right now and it ends today so it's kind of annoying that I'm saying it but Walgreens is, has been for the past few weeks like buy two get one free mix and match so I picked up that and I'm really enjoying it so if you guys see that give it a try I think you will enjoy it the next thing I want to talk about are two mascaras that I picked up from the drugstore ones by L'Oreal and I saw this on like L'Oreal's Instagram that they came out with a cobalt blue mascara so we're gonna give it a try I clearly haven't opened it or try it I know I've heard that the formula for the L'Oreal Voluminous has changed a lot over the years and it's not the same, so I'm wondering if this will still be as good as the original. And I picked up the Colossal Big Shot Mascara by Maybelline that everybody is loving. So I know I've talked about it before, I really like the Maybelline Lash Sensational and the pink tube that I always use, so we're gonna see how this stacks up to it, but yeah. So clearly I have um, a little bit of black mascara on. So let's just go in with the L'Oreal Cobalt Blue and we'll try to go over. I know my mascara is dried so it might not uh, work too well and if it doesn't I'll just take off this side and we'll apply this as is but my lashes are blonde naturally so it's nice to have something dark under so it can kind of like show up. It might even be cool to kind of use like a lash primer under this to see how that shows up. So I'm just going to kind of swivel the mascara wand. Good tip, don't pump your mascara because then you're pumping air inside and then it dries the mascara out. So just swivel your wand in there before uh, pumping it. So this is what the wand looks like. It's just a brush that's really coated and the color is super pretty. So Let's go ahead and just go in with this. I'm trying to get close, sorry. I'm looking back there at my mirror. So we'll just apply right on top. Oh yeah, that's showing up. That is definitely showing up. I hope you guys can see that. Oh, got it in my hair too. Maybe we'll come out with blue streaks, you know? You never know. Let me just wipe off the tip. I always wipe off the tip of my mascara because a lot of product just gunks up there and I don't like it. So this is pretty. It's just giving me a little bit of blue. I hope you guys can see because I can definitely see it in my mirror here. And it's it's reacting really well with the mascara I have under it, which is the Lash Sensational. And I wouldn't really apply this on the lower lash line. I got a little on my uh, upper lid, but I wouldn't apply this on the lower lash line just because I, I think that might look a, a little too much for me. But yeah, this is super pretty. It's really, really pretty. I love this right now. And I feel like it's really separating my lashes too. Like I said, I have some black mascara under, but yeah, that's what it looks like. I'll look down. I don't know if it's gonna make any difference looking down because I applied it under, but 
that's really pretty. It just gives a little like something fun to your makeup, you know? Like, like with me, I don't really do crazy makeup like as far as eyeshadow. Just don't think it looks right on me with my hooded eyes. Uh, but yeah, this just kind of adds a little bit of a fun factor to it. So I really like this. I'm, I'm happy with that. Now, I am going to have to take off this because I do want to see what this looks like as is. So let me just quickly remove my mascara. Okay, I took off my mascara as much as humanly possible, so my eyes a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. You guys can look past that because we are here to try this mascara. So let's open her. Uh, it's still got some on my bottom lash, but it's really hard to remove it from your bottom lashes without disturbing your concealer too much. You can see I am like kind of raw in the corner, but. That's all right, we're gonna see what this is like. So it's super pretty, love the gold. Let's go ahead and open it. Again, I'm just gonna swivel. Ooh, cool, see how that looks back there? That's that's interesting looking, but yeah, it's uh, again, a brush. It's not a rubber brush, which is cool. So let me wipe off the tip. And I'm not going to curl my lashes or anything like that, but let's go ahead and just go in. I have small eyes, so this is a little bit of a bigger brush head, and I'm used to having like a rubber brush. So this is different. Hmm. I don't feel like it's separating them all that much. My cat's snoring. I hope you guys can hear that. I mean, I'm not not liking this. I feel like it's making them look really full. I do feel like the lash sensational does separate them a little bit more though. But this makes them look a little more like full and chunky, I guess. Let's go on the bottom lash line too. Not loving this for the bottom lash line right now. I know I've talked about this before though. I feel like mascara looks a lot better once it's like been opened for a week or so. So maybe in a week I'll really love this. But I don't know, kind of digging my lash sensational a little bit more. It's like a really dry formula I feel like, which is nice because you're not gonna like make mistakes. I mean, because if you make mistakes, you're not gonna get mascara everywhere. Actually, going in with this second coat, I am. See, I just hit my face and nothing came off, which is nice. I actually like that for when you make mistakes and when life happens. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot more with this second coat, that's for sure. It's nice and black, that's cool. I obviously got the color black as black. I guess that's not obvious. I don't know why I always say I obviously. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Might have some up there because I haven't looked, but that's not bad at all. I can see why people really like it. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try one day my Lash Sensational on one, one eye and my uh, Colossal Big Shot on the other eye to see what I like better, but I'm really digging this blue mascara. Let's just put the blue mascara over this guy while he's still wet to even them out. I love this blue mascara, that's so fun. I think the last time I applied blue mascara, I was in grade school and it was like that, you know, the, the signature like mascara that we all had as a kid, the pink one, great lash, great lash. So yeah, I like this blue mascara a lot and I don't mind this at all. Like I said, I'm gonna have to keep testing it out, but yeah, this is what it looks like. These are the three things that I uh, picked up from the drugstore. I picked up a couple of things from Ross. Uh, Ross just opened by my house. I guess it's like a Marshalls, TJ Maxx type of place, but there were a bunch of things that looked like makeup brand stuff. So like this kind of reminded me of like the Stila um, Metallic Metals long name eyeshadow that everyone's raving about. So I wanted to try these and I don't have anything like this. There was something that looked exactly like the Kylie Lip Kits. It had the like dripping uh, container thingy and I thought about picking it up but then I was like, you know what, you have so many liquid lipsticks, it's not necessary. So I didn't get that but I also picked up this All About That Glow. These are both from 
Jasmine LaBelle Cosmetics, which I think is kind of like an LA color. So I also picked up this All About the Glow, but I'm gonna do a separate video on that because I feel like my videos are too long and I wanna kind of keep them short. So I hope this was helpful to some of you. If you have any questions, as always, please leave them below. If you're interested in seeing more videos of me, I post about two a week. Please subscribe, it means the world to me. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.